welcome back. In the previous part, we finally saw Hubert confess his feelings for Pascal. Whether she actually understood them, eh, we'll find out. Tomorrow we risk all for our homeworld. Don't you two think you should get some rest? This is resting. Captain, I can't sleep. Will you just talk to me? <sighs> all right. You said you were scared of losing the ones you love, right? I know how you feel. I know it better than most. But you must not let yourself be ruled by fear. Let me ask you a question. What's the best way to be with those you love? To protect them? Correct. But to do that, you must transform your fear into strength. Fear into strength? However, strength alone is not enough. You must also believe in those you love and honor their feelings. The better you know a person, the easier it is to keep them safe. You are an ancient creature, Sophie. But in many ways, you are still a child. Life has lessons yet to teach you. Some will be enjoyable, and some will come with pain. You must face the painful lessons and learn from them. It's the only way to grow stronger. When we have finished this business with Fodra, you will be stronger for it. And then I can protect you all? You can try. I have no doubt. Thank you, Captain. Same to you. Good luck tomorrow, Asbel. The fear of loss is strong in you. It is a fear honed sharp against a stone of countless pains. By showing these children the true path, you show it also to yourself. Fascinating. May your devotion to the path be a shining example to those around you. It's true. Perhaps they teach me more than I know. Captain Malik? Enough chatter. Get yourselves to bed, and that's in order. Yes, sir. It is strange that Asbel can't hear what Lambda's saying in these situations. It's just like, you'd think he'd be able to. They do share a body, after all. I don't know. Just very, very strange. Alright, so there you are, Richard. What is happening? Asbel, Sophie. Can't sleep, Richard? I keep trying, but I fear it's a lost cause. I can't stop thinking about tomorrow. About what I would do if you ended up like... me. I told you, that's not gonna happen. Remember when we were young? It made me happy to know that you trusted me. When I grew up, I made one terrible mistake after another. But it helped me to know I could support you. Without that trust, I wouldn't be the man I am now. It's the same with Lambda. I need to trust him. I need to believe in whatever made him protect us. When Lambda was inside me, I... I was enslaved by him. I wasn't able to face him the way you can. We haven't spoken in a while, Richard. Hello. We used to feed off resentment, and it allowed our hatred to grow strong. We believed we could save the other from loneliness. But I don't need to tell you how that turned out. You and I are both indebted to this man. I will repay my debt. The path you choose is up to you. Lambda. Asbel. I just heard Lambda's voice. At least someone admits it. Sophie. I think Asbel and Lambda are actually getting along. You won't have to fight him again. I've decided to place my trust in Lambda as well. Thanks, Richard. Can you hear me, Lambda? I know that I failed you. And so you may not care what I have to say. But please, keep Asbel safe.
It could all be a massive trick, though. It could easily be deceiving you all. You fools, you're falling into his trap. Maybe he was planning this all along with Fodra themselves. Dear God. The little queen and Lambda in coots. It's entirely possible. Maybe. Alright, so here we go. We do definitely need to comfort Sheria. She seemed a bit upset. Sheria? Hey, Sheria. Are you still mad? I'm worried, Asbel. I'm not mad. Oh. Sorry. Look, can't you find a way to trust Lambda? I want to, I do, but I just... Listen, let's make a promise. A promise? I've learned something from all this. When I was young, I used to think my family was holding me back. But now I know they acted that way because they cared for me. So I've been wondering if it's possible for me to care about someone in the same way. Oh? And I can think of only two people who might fit the bill. Hubert and Sophie. Two? Please don't tell me you're planning to adopt another Sophie. No, Sheria. What I need is someone to look after Sophie with me. Oh. This person has always been close to me, but I've been too stupid to see it. Frederick. So when we get back, I plan to tell her. Your mother. But right now, I need you to trust me. And trust Lambda. And wait for us both. Will you do that, Sheria? Asbel. Asbel, if you make a promise, you have to use your pinky. I suppose so. Okay, Sheria. It's a promise. Is this a proposal? Few know the preciousness of life as you do. Huh? The man before you is a fool. True. But beneath his idiocy hides a layer of steel. I owe him much and shall repay that debt to the best of my abilities. However, this fool dared to challenge even me. Who knows what he might do in the future? He's already shown that he'll throw his own life away for the sake of others. Let him know you understand this, and hold him to his promise. That voice... Sorry, what? Wait, what's going on? Uh, nothing. What? Listen to me, Asbel. If you don't keep your promise, I will never forgive you. Eh, it doesn't matter anyway, he'll be dead. Don't you say something for a promise? Cross your heart, hope to die, stick a needle in your eye. I would not recommend that. Okay, I'll look for a needle. No! Wow, you guys are serious. I guess I have to keep my promise, huh? You'd better believe it. <laughs> It would have been funnier in this scene if, like, if we went to this shot here and Sophie was off in the background somewhere or had disappeared completely. Now, Sophie, make sure to take a bath and change your clothes before you sleep, okay? Well, yes, of course. I'll do that after I find the needle. Okay. All right. I'll see you both tomorrow. Asbel, do you know where I can find a needle? Sorry, looking at your face, I started thinking back on something my dad once said. When I first brought you home, he told me I'd never be able to take care of you. I wonder what he'd say now. <laughs> I bet he'd still say I couldn't do it. I often wish I could see dad again, just once. He was a good man, you know. He wanted the best for his people's future and for ours. I want to carry his hopes and dreams into the future. Into the future? 
I want to help the people of Lawn live happier lives, even if just a little. And I want the same happiness for their children and their grandchildren and onward. But I've only got one life, you know? There's only so much I can do. I guess it'll be up to my descendants to carry on the legacy. I hope they're up for it. I hope they think this dream is as important as I do. Too bad I can't stick around and see how it turns out, huh? I'll stick around. I'll stick around as long as it takes. I can tell your children and grandchildren. I can tell everyone about your dream. Will you trust me with your dream, Asbel? I will be your living legacy. Sophie. It's hard to believe I was so worried for all this time. You'll never be gone, even after you die. Oh no, he will. Because your dream will live on. I have a purpose now, Asbel. I will see your dream fulfilled. You're really something, Sophie. You know that? We're all gonna die. Right, anyways, let's head back and actually get some rest now. These humanoids, it's like, it's just strange how they're just standing about. It's like, I think maybe all of them would have evolved, 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 yep, evolved a bit further over the course of this game, but no. No, they're just, I don't think they're mindless, it's sort of like, maybe they're sort of like, um, are we on the right floor here? I'm not sure what floor we're on. Just don't have a clue at all. It's like they're almost childlike in every regard, but they're almost like they've been traumatized. The best way of describing it. So, like, their growth has been stunted. Which is unfortunate, really. Okay, so I think the bedroom's in the middle, or is it over there? I don't know. I think it's up here. I'm not 100% on that. Do, do we go sleep in here? I don't think so. Okay, so let's see here. Is this the bedroom? I just, I, I, cause this place was closed off, wasn't it before? This place has been tidied up. The lounge. Oh. There we go. I would like to rest, yes. Hello, Protos Haze. How are you doing? I have something important to tell you, Lambda. Have you come to threaten me? Maybe? If you destroy me, this man will be destroyed in turn. No. In fact, it's the opposite. What do you mean? I'm not going to fight you anymore. I've decided to trust you. I know that Asbel can be reckless sometimes. Sometimes? So take good care of him, okay? Hmm. You didn't agree or disagree there. Wait, wait, no! Looks like we're all here. Are we? I don't see Waluigi anywhere. This ends today. We must shut down the core, no matter what. Ah, poor Waluigi. The last Stalia shaft was added to the world map. Of mice and mechs. Hmm, I totally want to upgrade Mecha Asbel's armaments, but nothing's working. Let me see. You're okay, but do you even know what you're looking at? Oh, there's a mouse caught in here. <laughs> Sophie, take it outside! Okay. Hmm. <sighs> that scared me. Little fella must have been attracted to these biscuit crumbs. 
Will you please stop eating while you're fiddling with your machines? Okay, okay. Anyway, now that it's all cleaned up, I think it should work. <laughs> there we go. Now let's see. Nope, still missing some parts. Are they at your house? Probably. It's a big ol' hassle, but I suppose we could hoof it back there. Um... What now? Just wondering if mice chomp on parts like these. That's not funny, Pascal. Guess I won't know until I get back home to check. Let's go! Don't tell me Pascal's house is full of... <sighs> yeah, it's probably full of mice. Alright, so let's actually do that then. Let's go towns. Go to the Marcian Enclave. Go over to Pascal's house. That's supposed to be quite lovely. Uh, you know, I assume there's not any mice anywhere. It's probably still going to be a mess. Who knows? Who knows? It's like I'm very worried about these kitties now. They've just teleport me off somewhere. Quite strange. Okay, so... Hey, that is Robo Kitty. Anyway, stop. Think it looks like Asbel? Yeah. No. Ah, oh, boo. I thought I was getting close. Oh, hey, that's it. I've come up with a new recipe. Oh, bananas. Where did I leave that thing? Not here. Not here either. Pascal, who lived in the past, give me a sign or whatever and stop. Time to kick this thing and see what comes out. Bang, 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 kachonk, smack, pow, digging all around for that thing I can't remember. Oh dear, oh dear. Shut up! Jeez. Oh, hey, Fourier. You're making my ears bleed. And what the heck are you doing back here anyway? I needed a thing in the Bobby. I thought you were on Fodra. You're on Fodra. I wanted to make this look like him, but I guess it doesn't look like him at all. So now Sophie's all totally disappointed. Sophie probably doesn't care. Who's it supposed to be? Asbel. That's a weird sound effect. Oh, I see. Mm-hmm. It's a secret weapon. Isn't it cool? Yeah. If it's a weapon, does it really have to look like someone? Of course it does, silly. That'll make Asbel happy and Sophie happy and maybe even little Bro happy. The grumpy kid with glasses? Why would he care? Because he loves his big brother! Duh! When he sees Mecha Asbel here, he's gonna cry big sloppy tears! You seem quite familiar with... Little Bro. Indeed. Yeah, well, we've been traveling around the world. You've been traveling with Asbel too, and yet this looks nothing like him. Oh, come on! It's perfect! Wait. What does Asbel look like again? Oh dear. Never mind. Oh look, there it is! What are you planning to do with that? Come on, Fourier, lend me a hand! <sighs> You're hopeless. Do it yourself! Aw, oh, my sister's mean! Hmm. <laughs> Fine, I don't need you. I'm gonna make this look just like Asbel, and then little bro's gonna be moved to tears. Yeah, it is sort of like you can see what's going on here. It's like, the reason she's making this robot is all for Hubert's sake. Okay, here we go. Oh, I love hitting things with my big hammer. Will you please just be quiet? She's having fun. 
Yeah, I noticed. You just colored it. Yeah? Worked though, didn't it? I'll protect you. It's Asbel. It's Asbel! Yay. <laughs> so cute. Well, if it makes Sophie happy. I swear, Pascal, will you ever grow up? I do hope not. Huh? <laughs> I do like this. Huh? What? What's going on? Right, so I think this might be a perfect spot to end this part. Because we don't want to go part way through um, the shaft, whatever. I think it's another Lustalia shaft, is what it is, like like we had previously. So it's sort of like, I don't want to start that at the end of this part. It'd be nice to start it at the start of a part, basically. Because then we get in there, we get going, we, we make our way down. It's got to be another one of those confusing thingies. A bit like the forest. Bit more straightforward this time though. But we'll see about that in the next one. So, ta-da for now!